here on Circle Team. Today I'm be doing a full day wear test of Beauty Bakery Cake Mix Demi Matte Foundation. Their concealer, which is called Cake Face, and their powder. So this is what I'm going to be trying. Now I do know just based off of comparisons I saw, these are the lightest shades. Though there, this one might not actually be the lightest. Mug Life might be lighter. This is the shade um, Don't Give a Frappe. But according to the website, when I was looking at it, the next shade over was called Mug Life. They described that one as sharp tape um, light sand, which looks like a warm tone, versus this one is just light. And then I use Fair. So I know that this is going to be too dark for me, just in general. And then this one is described as being the same as Fenty Beauty 70. So that's going to be a little bit too dark for me as well. So I'm probably going to mix in some other tones. I want to do a test, so I don't want to mix it with things, just because I want to know what this particularly like wears on the face. At the same time, I don't want it to be like a, face, a mask or whatever of like too dark and then the right tone. Sorry, but two ones up real quick. Let me let her. Just come up here. Your toys are up here. Come here. Can we get Tigger? So, we're gonna try this. No. This is supposed to be the lightest tone, so I'm gonna put this all on and then we'll come back for some thoughts. So, I'm gonna do my thoughts at the end, not while I'm applying it. I'm going to use this by um, Smashbox. I don't think it's going to be perfect for this foundation considering they use, say, beauty oils. But I don't have those, so I'm going to use this and hope that it is good enough. I'm not going to let it set. I'm just going to go straight in with the foundation. Okay, and then just to see a difference, I'm only gonna put the, the powder on one side of my face. I'm gonna leave the other side without a powder. Just because I don't want to see what kind of a difference it makes. And the best way of selling that is if I don't put it on half my lips. So I am gonna make with it. Remember my eyes. Bit of my nose. Okay, or an eye. I'm just gonna quickly pat 
had that everywhere. This is purely to do a test to see if it does make a difference or not. I don't know. So I'm going to go finish up the rest of my makeup and then we'll be back. Alright, and here is the finished look. It's been about mm, ooh, less than an hour since I applied all of these. Again, I only have the flower setting powder on this half of my face. So just to see what the difference is between the two. Um, this is really dark on me. Like I had to go crazy on um, bronzer everywhere. I think I went a little too ham on the side for contour. Just to try making this not look patchy because this is even darker than the foundation when it oxidizes. So this is way too dark. I might try getting Mug Life just to see how much lighter it is just to see but this this is not my shade i'm going to be giving this away to my sister who in the summer this is her tan color so i'll give this to her or my mom i don't know who one of them will get that because that's too dark for me uh the beauty bakery demi matte foundation it's too dark for me as well it's all this is too dark for me um it's sitting nicely on my skin at the moment like besides color wise because color is wrong it doesn't look bad on my face I can actually see a little bit where I put my setting spray has wiped away some of the makeup I don't know if that's I've used that spray a lot and I've never had that happen so don't get it wet or it will come off. So there's that. So I have blotchiness there from where the setting spray hit it. Interesting. Otherwise, it looks good. No issues with it. And then we'll see just how much of a difference this actually makes throughout the day. Probably do a check in in a few hours and let you guys know my thoughts. So let's get on with the day. Two hours in, still very orange up here compared to the rest of me. Not like that, but oh, I also play extensions. <laughs> I didn't mention that, but That's what we're kind of looking like. This is I without any powder. Do it here. Here's the side with the powder. This is two hours in. Not too bad. Like for wear. Like going into no like creasing on either side or under my eyes. But the color is so wrong. So I don't like that part, but. All right, I'm about to eat some lunch. The girls are kind of sitting around like, Mom, like, I want the food, bitch. Give me the food. <laughs> um, I don't know if I can get it right. Like, there, that, that's good. My face is orange. <laughs> Not happy about it. Um, the side without powder, we have some lines here. I don't really have on that side. A little bit of breaking apart here. Still no creasing by the eyes, a little bit. Not like too bad. But it's so orange. Who is this color? This does not look good. I don't have the creasing over here, so the powder definitely is the only thing I'm liking so far. So, I need some lunch. All right, we're on hour seven. So not my color. I've ate something, so with the butthole lip coming out. And oh my gosh, you can just see how not the color of this is for me. And we have 
definitely a smile in here. I don't really see one here. Really, the white bright just switched. So, the powder definitely helps prevent that. We've got good amount of creasing here. About the same amount of creasing here. So, we did fake here. I don't see a difference between the two. So, there's that. Um, other than that, you can see kind of just how it wore. Still splotchy from the setting powder. Not my color. <laughs> Just so not my color. <laughs> so I tried putting it on. That's why I had the extensions. I've been trying this all day. Just keep the extensions like this. So you can't as easily see how bad the difference is until like I go like this. And then it's very, very obvious <laughs> that it's not my color. Ugh. I mean, it looks nice on the skin. Like, I don't see it, like, completely breaking up anywhere. But it's not my color. And I'm not going to get past that. So. I think I am going to call it on wearing the foundation. I'm going to keep wearing the eyes because I really like how the eye look came out. did record this, but the file got corrupted on my memory card somehow, so. I have the outro, I just don't have the entire tutorial piece. So if you guys want a look on this, I can always try recreating it or do something different. Um, but yeah, I need to take this, this makeup off. It's been eight hours. For like most people, that's like an all day wear test at work or whatever. So this is like a full day of what it looks like you wore it to work and then you took off your makeup after work. So I'm done wearing this. I can't stand the color differenti differentiation anymore. I was trying to hold out all day on doing that, and I was gonna keep going the whole day. I wear wear makeup, which is like on weekends at like 10 o'clock in the morning to 10 o'clock at night. But I can't stand the color differentiation anymore. <laughs> it's four now. I put my makeup on at 10. It's about a full day wear. Not a full, completely full day. I just can't stand the color differentiation anymore. I can't say that enough. Formulize, it looks nice, it's not breaking up, it's not breaking up on my skin, looks fine. If it was the right color. And this isn't that noticeable. And powder gets rid of it. So the powder I like. I'm gonna keep wearing that and I'm gonna keep that in my collection, but the rest, mm-mm. I'm gonna give the foundation and the concealer to my sister, because she is naturally darker than me. And then everything is my mom's winter shade, so if my sister decides she doesn't want it, she can just give it to my mom and then my mom can have it. Or we can just donate it somewhere because it's it's nice, it's just, I wish the lightest shade was lighter, was more fair and white. But they have a huge variety for those who have darker complexions than me, so just a brand I can't get face stuff from. but. Oh well, I'm gonna take off my makeup. If you guys like this video, please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the Hellpack, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye!